Hey friends, and welcome in to A Walk Through the Word, Daily Bread with Crystal Fry. I am your host, Crystal Fry, and in today's episode, we're talking about Jesus appearing to his disciples in John chapter 20, verses 19 through 23. Thank you for being here with me today, and I pray that you will listen with an open heart to hear the Word of God speaking to you. All right, friends, let's dive in. God's Word is powerful. The missing link is our identity in Christ. When we know who we are and who He created us to be, that is when we can truly walk in freedom. You are never alone. There is hope, and that hope is Jesus Christ. Today we're in the Gospel of John, chapter 20, verses 19 through 23, which read, On the evening of that first day of the week, when the disciples were together, with the doors locked for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. After he said this, he showed them his hands and his side. The disciples were overjoyed when they saw the Lord. Again, Jesus said, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, I am sending you. And then with that, he breathed on them and said, Receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive anyone his sins, they are forgiven. If you do not forgive them, they are not forgiven. Friends, I hope you still are riding high on the joy and the excitement and the celebration of resurrection. We're going to keep talking about this all week. So (laughs) today we're looking at this first appearance of Jesus to the disciples that are gathered together. Now, we will talk about tomorrow, Thomas, who was not included in this first gathering, but this is the disciples, the gathering of the disciples together. Now, this have listen carefully for the timing of this on the evening of that first day of the week. So this is the evening. Remember yesterday, as we were talking about Jesus appearing to Mary Magdalene, and even in Monday's episode when we were talking about this being early on the first day of the week, right? Before the sun was even up, while it was still dark, Mary had gone to the tomb. So all of this is taking place. What we talked about Monday, yesterday, and today, all of this is taking place within one day. All of this is happening on the same day. So they discover that Jesus is not in the tomb that morning. Um, Jesus appears to Mary and tells Mary, hey, go tell the guys I'm coming. And now here we are in the evening of that first day of the week. The disciples are gathered together. They have the doors locked for fear of the Jews. Now, this is interesting to me because this kind of tells me that they're their faith took a hit when Jesus died. They were now fearful of the Jews coming to find them and persecute them because they had followed Jesus. They were now in fear. They were essentially hiding. Now they're here with the, with the doors locked and Jesus comes and stands among them. It's also important that they put the detail in there that the doors are locked and Jesus appears because this lets us know again that Jesus is, <laughs> Jesus is like, I feel, I feel like that is just it, right? I am. Um, yeah. Jesus appears, right? He came and stood among them and said, peace be with you. Now, I think that this has a couple of different meanings behind it. One, we just read that they are, they are in this place hiding with the doors locked for fear of the Jews. And Jesus shows up and says, peace be with you. Don't fear, right? 
We don't need to have that peace. My peace is what is here with you. And I think it was also just a beautiful greeting, right? I mean, hello, just, oh, I can't imagine. Do you think, and maybe something to ponder, a a side shoot off to ponder, Obviously, the disciples were extremely excited, right? It says here in scripture that the disciples were overjoyed when they saw the Lord. Do you think that Jesus was pretty excited to see them too? Like he shows up and says, peace be with you. There's an exclamation point at the end of that statement, right? So it's not just like, peace. Yeah, how's it going? That's great. Can't believe I'm still here with you guys, right? Like he comes in and says, peace be with you. What a greeting. What a greeting and a blessing all all wrapped up in there together. And then he shows them his hands and his side. And so again, you know, as I said, I kind of feel like the disciples' faith took a little bit of a hit when Jesus died. And Not only, you know, they're sitting here locked in a room for fear of the Jews, but Jesus showed him his hands, right? The the nail scars in his hands and his side where he was pierced. And why do you think he did that? Part of it, I think, is simply just to say, look, yeah, it's really me. Like I told you, I told you the father was going to raise me on the third day. Here I am. <laughs> I mean, I just, I, I can't imagine. I would love to know the thoughts going through Jesus's mind as he saw the reactions of the disciples, seeing him and realizing that it was him standing before them. I would just, I would, I would love to, to know what the thoughts were. And then Jesus says again, peace be with you. He says, as the Father has sent me, I am sending you. That is powerful, my friends. That is powerful because this is not just a, um, okay, uh, let me say this. Let me say this the right way, Lord. This was not just a one and done. This was, this was not a, Okay, this is a one-time thing and 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 that's it. And you know, everybody else, sorry for the rest of for the rest of uh humanity, you're just out of luck because you weren't here when Jesus was. No, he says, "As the Father has sent me, I am sending you." And then he breathes on them and says, "Receive the Holy Spirit." If you forgive anyone his sins, they are forgiven. If you do not forgive them, they are not forgiven. Friends, there is a tremendous amount of power in that. And it's not to be um it's not to be fooled with. It's not to be used maliciously. It's not to be used for, you know, one's own personal gain. Friends, God didn't send Jesus here. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. <clears throat> Jesus says, as the Father has sent me, I am sending you. Friends, we need to realize what, what an honor it is to be sent by Jesus. We need to realize and we need to understand what a gift it is to be sent by Jesus, to be his hands and feet, to be the representation, to be the representative, the ambassador for Christ. Friends, this is serious business. This is a huge thing. It, it wasn't a one time like, well, if you were around for those three years that he was ministering, then yeah, you got the goods. But that instead, he made disciples. 
and they made disciples and they made disciples. And we have somehow managed to carry on this incredible legacy all the way from God the Father. Being able to share in the good news, being able to share with people that there is another way. You don't have to stay in fear and worry and doubt and and be scared all the time and all of these things. You don't have to stay in the darkness. Jesus says, peace be with you. And so we should also say to each other, peace be with you. Friends, there's something so powerful in being able to share in the peace of Christ with one another. Being able to know, being able to understand what it is to be unified in the body of Christ. And that he didn't just, he didn't just say, all right, just you peeps receive the Holy Spirit. No, friends, the Holy Spirit is available to all. Oh, Lord. To all who would believe in him. It's not just held out for a a select special few Hello, that's one of the things that Jesus got so fussy about with the, with the, um, with the Pharisees, right? You, you people who have put yourself all above everything because you know the law, but you don't actually follow what, (laughs) you don't actually follow what you're trying to shove down everybody else's throat, right? And oh, hey, by the way, I am the fulfillment of the law, right? I mean, just. Uh, the y'all, the more I study and the the deeper my relationship and and the closer my fellowship gets, the more I am just like, I really wish I could have just sat and watched the whole thing, right? I mean, I really wish I could have been there to see like firsthand what happened and what the reactions were and the responses and everything else. Like I'm just, uh, I hope. I hope I get a play-by-play when I get to heaven. (laughs) I hope I get a play-by-play because that's just how I am. Like, I want to know all the details. I want to know everything. Um, But friends, here as we are talking about Jesus appearing to his disciples and how incredible that must have been and just how overwhelming it must have been Because again, remember, just as we talked about yesterday with Mary Magdalene, these these disciples, these were the ones who were closest to Jesus, right? Who followed along with him, who went where he went, who, you know, ate and slept. You know, they they were together all the time. And, And how much grief they must have been experiencing. And on top of that grief, there's fear. On top of that, I'm, I feel just quite certain that there was questioning, that there was uncertainty, that there was just, we don't know what to do. What are we supposed to do now? And to be in that state. And friends, you may be able to relate to that because maybe you've gone through loss, hardship, heartache, all compounded, all on top of each other, fear, not knowing what's coming next. It's a hard place to be and it can make you feel hopeless. And then here comes Jesus. And then here comes Jesus to stand among them and say, peace be with you. Oh, my friends, I pray if you are in a hard situation right now, oh, friends, I pray if you're in a hard situation right now, if you are in a tough situation in your life, if you are facing tough circumstances and there is fear and there is worry and there is doubt and there is uncertainty, hear the words of Jesus right now as he says to you, friend, peace be with you. Peace be with you. 
friends, I can't, I can't make it any better than that today. That's all I got. <laughs> oh, friends, let those words just float and land on you. Let them sink in to your very being. Peace be with you. Friends, thank you so much. Oh, I love you so much. Thank you for being here with me today. I pray that you receive that peace, especially if you are in desperate need of it today. Friends, I pray that you receive that peace that you are needing so much and that you are looking for. Just know that it only comes from one place, and that is from our Lord and Savior. So friends, peace, the peace of God, the peace that surpasses all understanding. Let it be with you today. Friends, thank you so much for being here with me today. You know it's a blessing. I tell you every day and I'm going to keep telling you what a blessing and an honor it is and a joy to be on the journey with you. And I want you to join with me in giving that glory and that honor to God because without him, friends, without him, we are nothing. So I'm so grateful he allows us to come together here every day and he will continue to allow us for as long as this is going to go. Friends, peace be with you today and take that peace with you throughout your day. And I've, of course, I'm going to invite you to come back and join me for our next episode. And we're going to continue on through um, the Gospel of John. We're still going to be in chapter 20 for one more day tomorrow. And we're going to be looking at verses 24 through 31 and what happened when Jesus appeared to Thomas. And friends, that is a power-packed passage. So I hope you'll come back and join me again tomorrow. Until then. Hey friend, thank you so much for joining me on the show today. It's my pleasure as always to be here with you. If what you listened to today resonated with you, if you enjoyed listening to the show, do me a favor, go ahead and like and subscribe to this podcast and leave a review. Those reviews are so helpful. I can't even tell you how much I appreciate each and every single one of them. And go ahead and share this episode out with a friend. Invite them along for a walk through the word and let's enjoy that daily bread together. See you tomorrow.